Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. Your chips. And as you can see, I couldn't even be bothered to get dressed today. I'm just hanging out in my brand new robe. Figured I'd come down and I think I can spin the wheel. I might not be able to spin the wheel. Let's see if we can spin the wheel. Uh, yes, we can. Spinning the wheel is an interesting mechanic that was added to this game. And I would argue that it is far more insidious than the gambling portion of the whole thing. Even though it's free, even though there's no chance of losing. 25,000 chips, there you go. See, here's the, the trick with the gambling. The gambling, yes, you could say, oh, well, people could convert real money to GTA money and then get chips. And so they could be you know, using real money to gamble, but they're never going to get it back. It's only to buy in-game items. And at some point, you're going to get all the in-game items you could possibly want. And truth be told, it's just far easier if you're going to do that. Just buy the buy the chips and spend them. Because you can spend the only thing you can use the chips for, other than converting them back to GTA money, is to use them over here in the store. Which we'll get to that in a minute, because I want to focus on the wheel. The trick with the wheel is the wheel is kind of in some ways worse than the gambling. The gambling, look, the most you're gonna be able to bet in this game is fifty thousand dollars. Now in fifty in real life. $50,000 gets you, oh, a really nice SUV. In this game, it gets you a t-shirt, okay? Something along those lines, or a really crappy car. I mean, you can't... This game deals in terms of millions and millions of dollars. $50,000 is what you spend every day on your businesses. It's just how that kind of goes. It's, it's, it's a drop in the bucket. See, you end up bored like this person if you're gambling, because you're not really... well, and drunk. Bored and drunk. I mean, it, the games can be a little bit fun. I mean, we could we could do something here, but watch this. Let's play, I don't know, Republican Space Rangers. There you go. And it tells you what the player return rate is, and that's how often people come back to... So, you have bet... Let's bet max. $125. Guess what? That's nothing. You spend more than that on ammunition in this game. And you spend another! One 250 chips! Yay! So now we broke even and you walk away. It's not real like you're gonna sit there going, ooh. But this, every day, if you want to get your bonus, your free bonus, every day you have to come back to this wheel. Which means, this game becomes part of your daily schedule. And they didn't do it like they did the daily objectives, where basically they reset at 2 o'clock in the morning or something like that. No, no, no. This is on a true 24-hour timer. Which means, you know, if I want to really get this bonus every 24 hours, I have to come back at the same time. Otherwise, I have to come back later, and then I'm technically missing out. At some point, you're going to lose a day. At some point, you're going to lose... Whoa, why did I get bumped out of there? Someone going to spin the wheel? They just clearing me out so I could someone else can spin the wheel? It doesn't matter. The same thing goes with the visitor bonus. Every day on 24 hours, you have to come back and get your free thousand chips, which is meaningless in this game. A thousand when you're you have to deal in millions to do anything. No. But people that's that's a psychological ploy. If I don't play the game, I miss out. And so they have effectively put a mechanic that is far more addictive to gamers into this game. There's a chance to win a car. Now, at this point, it's you know, they've changed the car up. It's not the Thrax anymore. It's the, the, the Turismo. I'm glad they put it in the proper colors because that's the color it should be. Um, which does, you know, take a little bit of the pressure off, but I mean, that's still a million dollar car. You, you, you're having a chance at a million, even if you don't want it, you can sell it, get a million dollars. So th the risks over here I mean, if people could, I, there are there is a glitch where you can just spin it all day long until you get what you want, but that seems really annoying. I, to, to, loading this game takes so long. To exit out, go back in, exit out, go back in. Do you really need a million dollars? You can make a million dollars a lot easier. It's I'm not even worried about the glitch. Uh, the discount is an interesting thing. The discount's actually pretty interesting because what happens with the discount is you get 10% off 
whatever car, either whatever property or car, whatever it gives you. In my case, it was a, a Southern San Andreas car. Then you only have 47 minutes to spend it. So you have to make a, a, a purchase or then there or you lose the discount. That, you know, I, I ended up getting the Yissey Sport, which was close to like a million dollars. So, hey, I, I saved 100 k but if you want to take advantage of it, you better have a million that you're willing to spend. Now, let's say you get the discount. Let's say you're broke and you don't want to miss out on the discount. Shark card. Now you got a car. A car you didn't plan on getting. See, there's, there's a lot more manipulation going on with this wheel than any of these things. Yeah, blackjack you can win some money on. And yeah, the inside track, if you always bet on the good horse, you know, you can... You know, I believe the professional has proven that you can make money on that. I think people put an eye in the sky of that video. But, like, you're not gonna... You're not gonna... It's not gonna unless you really, really... Whoa! <laughs> All right, it's good to see that, you know, some, some things don't change around here. That's, uh... There are still some glitches. Do -do 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 -do. That must be some really cold ice. That's just frozen it right in there. It's it's so cold it's stuck to her hand. She's gonna need medical attention. There she goes. You do know, sweetheart. Where's she going? Is there like a, a room they go back to in here? Will she go into the... Uh... Oh, they're going to... She's headed upstairs. Okay. And she cut that woman right off. Wait a minute. Are they identical? They're identical twins! Look at that. we got identical twins working in the same place. And one of them... Uh, one of them just teleported right into the elevator. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe this is a parallel universe kind of thing. It's... When you meet it yourself, then you completely... Alright, we can we can deal with advanced physics later on. But that's the thing that nobody's talking about. Nobody's talking about how the wheel is really the mind manipulation kind of thing. And that's where they're going to make their money, because people are going to be trying every... They're going to be coming back every day. They're going to be emotionally invested in the game. They don't have it... So you can spin this every hour. First of all, they, it's not a matter of how much stuff you'll get from it. But then you'll get used to it, and it'll always be there whenever you want it. So what's the point? You don't have to come back every day. It's there. This is timed in such a fashion that it makes you, it, you know, it trains your brain to need it, and you're never completely getting the full dopamine fix that you can. You want to come back to this. It's, there's pressure. This, this is really where it's seized. Don't worry about the gambling. The gambling, that's the, the fake, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? The fake controversy. This is the fake scandal. This is the thing everyone's looking at. Oh my goodness, there's gambling. What about the children? There's horse racing. There's a horse to start with the horse racing. Yeah, you can do horse racing. By the way, I'm exceptionally disappointed. The one thing I am very disappointed is that we are not watching horses run around outside. That, I'm sure we could have done that. And we could have, if we had... If we had it where the people, if the, the people could race, if you could become a horse racer, and people could bet on whether or not you're gonna win. Let's see. Evens up on Snatch your Mama. Okay, let's let's bet. A see, look, I'm, how much am I? You know, how much am I betting here? Five hundred. That doesn't really matter, does it? That's not going to affect my life anytime here. Let's um, place another bet over here on my own little thing. Dream shatterer. Shatter some dreams. Bleat me, baby. Wage of consent. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to lose money on that. I just know, because the odds of, the, of wage of consent coming in. <laughs> Next to nothing. And oh, the seventeen to one horse is going up. As you can see, the evens up one's going to win. Usually does. Oh, seven to one. This time the seven to one one wins. Bleat me, baby. Huh? It's bleat me, baby. My horse placed third, which that's interesting. 
So the 21 to one, the, the long shot placed third. Robocall. How can you bet against Robocall? Hennigan or Hennigan Steed, either one. Let's bet on Hennigan. Away, sure bet. Do you feel addicted yet? Hennigan's not doing too good. Oh, come on, Hennigan. Oh, dear. No, this is... I'm coming in fourth this time. Wow. Last. Proc Janley. That's a good... Who won? Proc Janley. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. I don't think... See, now, if this were actual people racing, can you imagine? What a game changer that would be. If you had NPCs, we don't want to do it. That would have been a game changer. You know, the next update. If we if we get a, if we get a casino part two, and I w I'd be down with the casino part two. But we'll get to that in a little while. Black, yeah. I mean, there's there's ways of doing stuff here, but this isn't this isn't where people are gonna go crazy. People are gonna go crazy because every day they're gonna come back for that wheel. This whole area, the only cool thing about this is unless you own a penthouse, you can't come in. They, they push you away. Not much to that. But, like, you know, it's little atmospheric things like this that make it. If it wasn't there, you'd think it looked broken. Now, the comeback every day thing continues when you get to the store. And you know the only cup Which... Spice. More twins? What's up with the twins? Is somebody modding this? Is there a modder? Time for the next question I'm willing to bet there's a modder going on here. Jason, now, the comeback everyday thing continues here. For instance, wrong. right now He's these are available. They're expensive. See, look, $38,000 for a mask. Uh -oh. So if you win... We're not talking big time money here, okay? I got the pineapple mask on pineapple. But, like, if you'll notice, the lemonade mask, the lemon mask, is gone. I would, you know, I would have been heartbroken if I hadn't gotten the lemon mask to allow me to be. The lemonade man! Yes, here we are, my new alter ego. In his lemonade suit and this and that and the other thing and and we're back to, to normal here but those rotate out and I don't know if they ever come back let's look at browse accessories browse masks that's still masks even though it's glasses accessories ties we can order some wings you must be wearing a suitable shirt watches not compatible with the other glasses. And you know the only cover. Those are ugly, but they'll be gone next time. Where's where's the um? There is a way of doing it. Here we are. Penthouse decorations. So you have these, which I'm broke at this point anyway. The deal is done. That's actually a little, you know. But this deal is done was not available last week, and the stuff that was available. Before, my gold collection. Again, I gotta get more, more chips. But you can just buy chips. Just it takes a certain amount of time. I think it's fifty thousand an hour. So there's the rise of Omneros. Inflation. But you'll notice it's the stuff that, like you know, the the one that's sitting in my. Uh, the Greek statue, where they carefully they have like one Greek statue here. The current Greek statue is this guy dabbing. Well, the one that I bought last week was the, the woman twerking the Greek statue, doing a twerk. So they're, they're combining, apparently there's a theme of combining Greek statues and... But like if I don't buy this, which I'm not going to buy the dab necessarily, I don't think that's not calling to me. It's gone. You can't, so there's pressure. You have to check and see every week. What is there something here that you want and that would make you grind the game more and make more money and potentially that could drive shark cards 
The watch case. Ooh, let's get the watch case. That looks cool. <laughs> Male dancer, female dancer. There you go. You can you can completely tart up your uh, your apartment if you want. <laughs> there, there's a controller design that. Never mind. We'll just. So, but these are unique things, and I don't know if they're gonna rotate, if they're eventually gonna come back. But since you don't know, that puts an additional pressure. You have to check at least once a week. This is apparently like a bachelor party kind of thing. What's wrong with her skin? It's got like some weird texture in it. Is that supposed to be like a rug burn kind of? I don't even want to know. Is it on everyone here? No, she's got... Yeah, she does just kind of wrinkly... I don't know. That's Is, is that everybody? No, she's fine. I guess it's just supposed to be not perfectly smooth. Yeah, that's fine. I guess it's, it was just a weird. Just caught my eye. And here again is that exclusive statue that may you may not be able to ever get again. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it's an interesting thing how they're taking extremely classic design. If you look at the face and the outfit, and they're just combining it with our current culture's trashiness. That's an interesting thing. The, the penthouse, I got no complaints about the penthouse. This is the perfect ultimate outfit. Hey, look at me there. Dun, dun, dun. Let's, um, let's, let's change outfits here just to, so that we could head out on the town here. Lemonade. A little shift of, into a lemon color there when you put the mask on. A green, yellow kind of thing. I still don't get the complicated, shut up, Ron. The complicated kind of thing you have like bathroom on top of bathroom on top of actually the first person let's get out of first person here we'll just go to lemonade for the visual for the visuals I mean you know this is really cool you could theoretically let's see I think it can kind call for chips from here is it or is it too soon Pick up the phone. Hello, Tom. Go through. See, I'm squishing. Tom Connors here. How can I help you, sir? See, you can have your members party, valet service, uh, the limousine service, which will you know fast travel you places. That's just fantastic. You know, I haven't really used it Call very back much. If you need something, day or night. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Tom. But, I mean, no, this is a great... I mean, the place, especially when it's fully decked out. I mean, you know. He's got the spare room going on. It's really kind of just everything you'd want in, a, in an apartment here. And, I, you know, I mean, it's just huge. Check out the huge living area. This is where you can watch movies and stuff, I guess. You can gamble up here if you want. How's it going? And is this which way is this? Is this the way to the spa? Yeah, you got the hot tub and the guy who's willing to give you a haircut and he just stands there all day. Do we even have a place for him to sit? I guess he can just sit in his own chair if he doesn't hear you coming. But he just stands there. The built-in video games here, they're pretty cool. I haven't actually, you know, played one yet, but I mean, I, I don't know that that... Uh, I guess this is so pe multiple people can play again, you know, with each other, against each other. You can four people going at once. Again, bartender. Hey there. Hey there. Thanks for hanging out Hi. here, even when I'm not here. Invade and persuade. That's a little bit of interesting political uh, statement going on there. What's in this room? Another uh, another washroom, as it were. Got multiple bathrooms for the parties, you know. We can you can decorate from here, place decorations. Let's see lounge, yeah, that's where we want. I need more money, so I can't do a whole lot. But I mean, and look, that's interesting. You can only have one thing in that particular position. You'd think you could just you know. Oh yeah, there you go. Next position. 
So we go next position, and then you can change it up. Pew white diamond casino, pewter gold diamond casino, which. Let's just go with that. Let's buy that for 450 chips, and then you can... Eventually, we'll, we'll get everything kind of decked out. It's a nice feature. It lets you, you know, make it your own, which is I think is a really cool thing. I'm kind of lost. Oh, wait, there we go. Um, if we go into here, there's a boardroom. Because who doesn't want a boardroom? You can RP with that so well. You could do the role playing. Well, let's head outside. I mean, you know, yeah, you, we've seen the terrace. I think everybody has seen the terrace. You know, the terrace is nice. Head on out. Get blasted to crap by people in theory. Speaking of which, usually it's pretty crazy out here. Gaboom. Yeah, really. Now, you can see 24 million is right now what I'm running with, which means at this point, with all the pluses and minuses and the making money and the, the selling things and, and buying things, and, and I am double diamond at this point, I'm diamond level on both my characters, that means I'm down about 13 million total. And I'm probably going to go down further because I still have to up, update uh, Rusty Jack's penthouse. He's got a basic penthouse. I did buy this car. Let's let's go a little bit more negative. I, did, I haven't... I haven't done any upgrades on it yet. This will give us a little bit of taste of what's going on here. Where is the nearest? Is that the nearest one or is that the nearest one? Let's go there. Get a feel for this new Issy Sport. Apparently, it's it's a lot like the uh, the Elegy, uh, the original Elegy. I'm missing turns. It doesn't matter because it does handle very well. I've got no upgrades on it. And it smashes into things really well, too. So, if you're going to take out your Elegy and you have one of these, you might as well take one of these because it's a little bit quicker. Per Ruffy 1322. My source for all my how fast is this car needs. And he's pretty endearing, too. He's, he's fun to watch. You tend to like the Ruff. Let's jump this puppy! Whee! Ooh! Power slam! Just perfect! Just perfect, that's true. It is all just perfect. Anything we can... Anything worth selling here? No. Let me in! What miracle did you want me to perform? Oh, miracles upon miracles upon miracles. Now what kind of liveries is some people using? Liveries do we have? That will armor this up. Break it up. Bumpers. You know, all the splitters and stuff tend to reduce your ground clearance, which I may do anyway. Like, I'm not real certain I'm going to drop this anymore, because I do want to be able to get over curves. Secondary tipped diffuser. We can, we can go with that. Just to diffuse. Engine, max it. Exhaust, okay, side, big bore exhaust, titanium. Side exhaust, side mounted right off the front. That looks kind of cool. Re <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> I'll be honest, the ones that the side exhausts are kind of calling to me, although that, would, that implies open mufflers. Am I just going to go stock with this, or am I going to go... I mean, it seems wrong to go stock with it. For now. Fenders, carbon kit, secondary body kit. Let's go secondary, and then because we might give it a bit that of a wild page up. Intercooler. Intercooler with primary vents. Yeah, let's go primary vents. Hood. 
Not as many hood things as you'd want. That's a beauty right there. Horn. Cause it's an issy. That's a horn, and you bought it. Well, there's sad trombone, though. Let's go musical on there. Let's go with that. Neighbors will love you. Neighbors will love me. Lights. Neon kit. Give it the whole neon. Neon color. I guess we don't really know yet, do we? Let's give it crew, and then we'll go from there. No, we don't. We gotta do the. We have to get the little, see, this will determine what kind of color scheme we want to go with. Wow! Republican Space Ranger. It's impressive that those guns shoot lasers, and that they're yet they're presented as shooting bullets. What's the back look like? We. Chernikov strawberry, lime. So okay, you got a Sprunka racing thing, Sprunk Extreme, and Lager beer. Nice racing liveries. Is anything calling to me though? I mean, that's the funkiest one, obviously, but is it attractive? No. Let's just go with some white stripes. The white stripes. <laughs> Plate. Black Knight me. Uh, let's see. Respray. Primary. I'm not doing uh, Chrome Crew again. That's That's been overdone. Okay. I mean, for Issy's, I tend to, to lean into the red spectrum. But it is British. We should perhaps think in terms of green. Or pink. Pink works. That kind of works. Goldish kind of colors. Do yellow. Do yellow one. Well, that has potential. Of course, you know, we could make this another lemon mobile. Felts are brown. <laughs> Where are the yellows? Did we pass through the yellows? Down the shaft of purples. The lime green. I gotta unlock. I need three more stunch jumps to do lime green. I have to get lime green unlocked. This lime green has the awesomeness. Bright orange, gold, race yellow. Yeah, let's go lemon with this. And then on the secondaries. What would complement it? See, there's race yellow on race yellow. That's just all solid. Actually, let's match the stripes. Where's Frost White? Ice White. Does Ice White match better than Frost White? Yeah, Ice White. It's not perfect. You can see it's not perfect right there, but there's a little bit of imperfection in that that I kind of like. Trim Color. Well, let's go to race yellow. Lemonade. And we'll leave the crew emblem off. I'm thinking of reworking the crew emblem. Roof. Roof scoops. I guess that's just to keep me cool. Is that the thing? Let's keep it clean. Skirts. What do you think? Secondary or primary? Secondary. Or primary. Let's see, that's a race skirt. I 
Let's go street. I like that little bit of wing. And we'll go secondary because I like the Florida color. Spoiler, obviously. See, that's the stock, the stock spoiler. Does carbon lip spoiler... Does this change anything? Or they, they all have... Did they change the way the spoilers work? The traction is maxed out, so it's hard to tell. Interesting. Let's go primary big wing. Let's now go a little bit big on this. Job. Sun strips. That kind of works. I feel like you kind of get in the way of seeing stuff, but hey, it's a sun strip. Suspension. You're not. You're not slamming it that much. Transmission, obviously. Now you've got some juice. Wheels. Okay. Ah, the stock ones are pretty good, but wheel time. What if we do our standard kind of thing for right now? Which is... Or do you think this thing really deserves some high ends? I mean, the classic rod has kind of been what I've been doing. Look, it's sharp. Wheel color, then you give it... Where's some yellow? Yellow. Tires, tire design, customs, white walls. Okay, that is kind of working. Bulletproofs. Best tires on the tire smoke, yellow. Windows, we're not tinting them up. I think we're good. You say, well, why'd you go through that whole exercise? Well, this is the quality of vehicle they're giving us right now. And I kind of like them. This feels quick. How you doing? Great. So let's speak to the missions. The missions, I would say. Oh, by the way, now we're down like you know, we're down a bit more here. Maybe I should switch to other other video for the missions. Let's, let's let's actually put a mission here. That's what that's what a professional YouTuber would do. This is nice though. Wee! I feel like I have to jump this and then we can switch to the mission and we'll talk about the mission stuff. Here we go. Alright, that was not... I want to do a successful jump with this. Come on. Let me succeed. It's got the acceleration. I mean, this thing feels this thing feels good. I can see racing this. How is that a fail? All right, let's cut to the missions. Miss Baker is expecting you. Just go on in. Ah, oh, good. Thank you for coming. I think I mentioned we have some ownership problems. Mr. Doug. Okay, let's let's get cut to chase here. The first thing is, I think the integration with all the players is great. So they can rebrand it, write off all its debts, and get it cheap, then turn it into a tacky dump. I feel awful asking for your help, but I obviously cannot go to the police. <laughs> That's great. We are trying to avoid a trade war or an international dispute. The Changs are considered respectable businessmen. They're not. The Chinese government cannot stand them. I know, but. They pay me to say that. <laughs> That's hilarious. The writing's great. The acting's great. Now, normally when Mr. Chang disappears for three days, I think no big deal. Party, few crash car, and everything's fine when I write a few checks. But this time, you go out to score Crystal, and he don't come back. He said something about a contact in the desert, a meth dealer he had met, and now we think he's been kidnapped by some bikers out near Sandy Shores. Really the last thing we need. Another scandal. Is there any way you can head out there and have a look for him? So this is really kind of cool that you start... Champagne, anyone. The running gag continues. That's the running gag. I love running gags. The champagne. That That's all he does. I think that, that that's the only purpose of Tom there. And of course he has a key, a key line at the end. But he's the champagne guy. 
But this is cool. It starts out with kind of a simpler mission. You're not as involved in the dealings of the casino, but you earn their trust. And then you get into deeper and deeper and deeper until you're really kind of knee deep and you know people are coming to kill you. It's uh, you know I don't kind of it's just as a review. I don't want to reveal everything. That's why I picked this mission to go over some some unvoiced footage. And there were some there were some lag involved in this. There was some there were some problems. That's that's always a thing. Okay, we think Mr. Chang is at an old abandoned motel in Sandy Shores and hopefully alive too. It's still not clear if this is a kidnapping or an extended after party. I don't know why it's this person has just gone walking. Back here at the casino as soon as possible. I the think she have stepped up their takeover attempt, and we need our owner here to keep things calm. No matter how wired he might be. I don't think the Duggins are behind the kidnapping itself. They're major investors in a private military company, so if they wanted Tao taken, they have plenty of big men with guns to do it. No, these are just regular old meth-dealing bikers. Who are not going to like seeing you show up to spoil the fun. Please so it's a simple, you know... Tao and bring him back here. This is pretty much... The first mission is just cleaning the cat house. Only you have to go in, he won't, if you land on a helicopter on the roof, he's not just going to run out to it. Although I haven't tried that. It seems like you have to go in and find him. You have to, you know, he's not smart enough to come out of whatever hole they're holding him in. You have to go get him. And this usually means that you have to shoot everybody else who's there. There's a good bit of driving, not a ridiculous amount of driving. It's interesting the way things are set up. The, the casino is pretty well located so that it's, it's you know, you get a sense that there is, you know, some distance to be traveled. It's not like it's right next door because that would be ridiculous. But they're not sending you out to, you know, the other side of the map. They're just sending you up here. It's a little bit of a drive. And, you know, the missions are challenging. They get more challenging as things go on for the most part. It's pretty linear. And the later missions, I don't feel like... I've done them all several times. I don't feel like I've mastered them yet. I get killed a lot still. So there's a lot of replayability if you're into that kind of mission. If, you're, if you like going in and trying to overwhelm lots of NPCs, and really, who doesn't? These are great. They're really great design missions. Um, it's a little bit tricky because you can't solo them. You have to find someone else willing to do them. And because they're tricky... And because, generally speaking, you're going to plow through more uh, ammunition than you are going to get paid, there's a good chance it's going to be hard to do. It's going to be hard to replay them. So what, that's kind of a downside, but I, I can't really fault the missions for that. If people, if you've got some friends and you're willing to do it, and you kind of all have the, the like-mindedness of wanting to go do that, or at least get one other person, they are all possible to be done by two, I think. I don't think you need four of those. There are some missions where four people would definitely be a benefit. Although, you know, the issue is, is that if you have four people, sometimes you can all get killed, and then that's, you know, you have two guys who aren't very good, and then they get killed a lot. I'm usually one of those two guys, by the way. I'm not trying to say, oh, look at me with the awesomeness. I, eventually, depending on when I get, I have a lot of video to get out. Eventually, you'll see there's at least, there's more than one mission where I had somebody carrying me completely. They were just really cool at it, and I was just not... But the, um, but that's the nice thing about it. It's what you want in a mission. You don't want something that's a complete walk in the park, because that gets boring. Even this one, there's a lot of people here. It's a lot easier with an armored Karuma. That's my one tip. There's nobody with a rocket launcher in this one. Just saying, that's another tip in there someplace else as well. But I tell you what, there are certain things I want to try with these. Like, you know, there's at least a couple of missions I want to see. Can I do it with the, uh, the stone hatchet? If you get a quick kill, can you just keep, you know, maintaining your invincibility and just keep running around smacking people with the, the stone hatchet? That might be a thing, too. I don't know if this, this one might lend itself to that. If you can get up to the guys. I don't know. We'll have to see. That might be future videos if I ever get a chance to do it and, and if it goes well. You know, or maybe it doesn't go well. It might be a better video if I just get shot to pieces. Be much shorter, but I'm saying that these these particular missions do lend themselves to multiple approaches. Do you want to do them stealth? Do you want to do them, you know, Leroy Jenkins style? There's a whole bunch of different ways of of doing this, and I think they did an admirable job with these missions. Go Rockstar! Now, when you do finish the mission, a lot of times they'll drop you right back at the uh, the old. Um, casino and you may be wondering why am I showing you a black screen here because 
what happens is when you load in, I want you to have the feel for this. And this happens frequently, just so you're aware. Is here you are. You're done. You're having a cigarette. You pop out of everything. You got the... This is why I just finished housekeeping. We got an opportunity, boss. Got a call. A hot product just came up. More expensive than a normal shipment. But more... And you just get killed. Someone shows up and just kills you, shoots you, hits you with the stone hatchet. Why? Because you kind of just appear. You're not expecting anything. You don't have any situational awareness outside the casino. So there are griefers just hanging outside the casino. Ready to kill you. Just letting you know. That's out there too. That's a... The casino is definitely the new hot spot for griefers and people who want to kill you. They're expecting people to be up on the terrace. So they'll just swoop in and blow up, you know, the... Uh, the thing. Did I, did I fight back here? Yeah, was I successful? I don't even remember. So that is one, ha, there you go, that is one aspect of this that I, may be intentional, may not have been intended by, uh, by Rockstar, but it's, it's a thing. There is an interesting, you know, interesting paint. Now, what I've done here is, I believe, I'm calling in the limo service. The limo service is really kind of nice. It's fast travel directly from the casino, but it's hey, regular up? travel. When you just call it in. And the limousine just appears. You don't have to wait for it. You have to run around for it. I like the limo service. Now, there are problems with it. And the problems are that people are a thing. Now, if you don't tell the guy to hurry, he'll actually follow traffic laws. So I've told him to hurry, so now he's just going to drive like everybody else in GTA Online. Just flying along how you would drive the car. This can lead to some interesting things because he's, generally speaking, not a very good driver. Although I don't think that was a problem on this run. Let's see. How well does he navigate this? That well, wasn't too bad. He's got a turn coming up. Alright, a little bit. That's not too bad. Whoop, whoa. And we'll zip around here. <laughs> Just rear end somebody. So I mean I'm gonna I know I'm sure this has already been taken to the top of Chiliad. I'm gonna try that. I know I'm gonna try that. That's that's coming up at some point. Just to have my own unique experience. Oh, rear ends people. They're around the bend. Uh-oh, now you see, the, the real problem with, from doing this is you'll have stuff like this. You're not very well protected in the limousine, and people like your Joe 22 um, they'll just do that. It's like you're a sitting duck. So that's a real... Yeah, and I'm not, I don't have a shot on your I forget whether did I go after George? They're probably not. I haven't. I haven't been really. You know, you utter buffoons. Now there's there's an, an elevated person. Oh, here we go. Watch me get run over. And shot down again by George. That thing can take a bunch of explosive shots anyway. George, why the hostility? Just looking for easy targets? Let's go already. Is he talking to me? I don't even know what's happening here. I have vague remember that vague remember? Vague memories. Of something good happening. Or are you just in need of a hug? It's GTA. Stop whining. Are you just in need of a hug? Do you need... Do you need actually affirmation? What the heck doing here? Oh, I'm talking to George. This guy runs me over. 
Bleh. It's lots of bleh. George doesn't need affirmation. He doesn't need a hug. I'm just getting annihilated. Sometimes it's just best to get in your helicopter and fly back to your penthouse. It's nice just to be able to say that. I'm flying back to my penthouse in my helicopter, which is smoking badly. It may or may not land well. Let's see how this goes. It does have the nice thing, if you just get close, you can hit E. And it's quite forgiving. Whee! Especially when you're not... And when the engine dies right before it hit E! Landed perfectly. Right. Didn't, didn't just explode and smash itself all over the place. No, no, no. We're fine. Loading. Loading. It's good to see some things that are familiar, like the loading screen. Back to back! Belly to belly, guys. Okay, here we are. So, what else can we talk about as far as this is concerned? There are the missions that you get from Ms. Baker. The, uh, the radiant quests. The ones you can just call her up, request work, and this isn't that. Uh, I'll try to put a little clip in here of a guy pulling a, pulling a knife on me while I'm in an armored vehicle. That that's kind of gives you a flavor there. It's typical GTA kind of stuff. This is annoying work. Oh, there he is. You are dead meat. Oh, this is the guy who wants to stab you. Uh, I'll shoot you in the hip. Uh, is he still fighting? Dude. Ugh, time consuming. Normally you shoot them and then it's like, oh, well. But I mean, you know, I have to say, the, the Radiant Quests, which again, this is not one of them here, this is one of the, the main quest line kind of things, but the Radiant Quests can be fun. They can be a little bit draggy, a little bit repetitive, a little bit, nah, I'm not in the mood for it today, but it is a once in a while kind of thing. It is, it, it is immersive. See, it adds to the immersiveness but you still have a relationship with Miss Baker. She still needs things from you, so therefore, she'll send you a limo. She'll send you, you know, she'll, she'll help you out. She'll hook you up with some things. It's all good kind of stuff, you know. And Tom's always offering the champagne, so it really doesn't matter. It's all kind of good. Now, some people are upset, and they're, you know, some people are going to get crabby about these things, that there are no major, major new armored vehicles. Let's start that over. Now, some people, some people are griping that this is the only weaponized vehicle has been added. The, the Paragon Armored, I guess is what you call it. Is that what you call this? What do we call this? Official name. Come on. Didn't even... That's anyway, it's something along those lines. And all it has are these standard, pretty useless... Front machine guns that are just put in there to prove to people that James Bond films aren't really all that physically accurate. No, 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 no. These things, they make noises and they scare people, but that's about it. And this is the only thing. There's no Oppressor Mark III. There's no Faggio Mark II. There's no anything Mark anything. This is, so far, the only thing that we know of that's coming into the game. But it's lovely. I'm doing great. It feels great to drive. I don't even care about the bullets. Just, this, this is unupgraded. I haven't touched this. Well, I, I marked it up a bit, but I haven't, I haven't done any upgrades. And I really, I'm hard pressed to think of something else to add. I mean, Airwolf? What do you, what do you want to add to this? A faster helicopter that shoots missiles and stuff. This is. I'm perfectly happy with things the way they are. I don't think we need much else. I mean, you know, th we're just all going to have to live with the uh, Oppressor Mark II, or as I like to call it, the douche broom. But I mean, you know, it's just how it is. We'll, we'll work with it. It's a useful vehicle if you're just going to use it like a normal person. It's just hardly anybody does. Look at this. This is just great. 
This vehicle, I like it. Only one way to get it is to finish all the missions, so it's a reward on top of anything else. That makes it so much nicer. Parked it. Woo! So what do we make of all this? What do we think about the casino? I'll tell you what I think about the casino. I like it. I think this is one of the best things. It's it's giving me almost ooh, that that looks ugly. Ow. Pink eye. It gives me um it gives me kind of a retirement mode where I can just get up in the morning, walk down from the walk down from the penthouse, go to the casino, spin the wheel, log out, just do that periodically keep the game alive while you know I'm either doing other things or following my path on other projects or I can just launch back out continue running gun running missions maintaining the nightclub they updated the nightclub so that it's easier to maintain your popularity your missions count more so I'm actually looking forward to doing more popularity missions and then mixing that up with some stuff from Ms. Agatha Baker there. I mean, there's a lot. It's a very nicely balanced game as far as things to do. I, I think, you know, I mentioned we get more parking with this. There's parking. They had a little public parking lot too, so I guess that's the perfect thing for, um, for car shows. If you wanted to, where did I just park? There we are. Just hell, I'm back. If you want to, let's pull into the public parking lot. Pull into the pub. This is so smooth. It's so groovy. Boom. Listen to that sound. Let's see, parking. Oh, we can't put this one in the public parking garage, of course. God, because it has bullets. But still. You can take that Turismo in. That trench, it looks like. Yeah, there you go. Nice yellow. That actually looks somehow lo lower and leaner somehow than the normal. But it does. Maybe it's just that yellow color. Yellow. And look, somebody's got their Thrax out. Sometimes you just gotta whip out your Thrax, you know? Yeah, of course, no one will be by to blow these things up. But, back to my original point. I think this is one of the best DLCs in a while. I think it gives you a lot of challenging missions that have a lot of repeatability if you want to grind through them, if you want to do them. If you want the challenge of taking on large numbers of NPCs, this is great. Absolutely, have at it. It gives you some ways of making money. Not big, great. Nothing that's going to replace what we've already got. You know, I mean, the, the nightclub, the, the gun running stuff, that's all going to be, you know, your meat and potatoes as far as making money is concerned. But if you just want to come in the game, let's say you have enough money. You're not worried about grinding for the for the big stuff. There, there are going to be, here, speak of the big stuff, uh, there are going to be some things that are going to go on. There's going to be more vehicles coming out. A couple of them might be, if you're if you're still into racing, like I plan to still be into racing at some point, then that's going to be a thing. I'm probably going to end up getting a couple new supercars. So I'll probably still be doing some gun running and some other things like that. But it's it's a night. We're in a nice place. If you just want to go and gamble and. Uh, and just fool around with the game a little bit, you know. We're almost, almost at the point where we can enjoy all these toys that we have ground to ourselves for hours and hours and hours in this game. You know, it's time to relax now. It's time to enjoy it for the first time ever. We're at the point where you don't have to worry about, well, do I have $30 million? Can I just enjoy the game now? Can I just, can I just play it? Thanks to the casino, yes. Now you can just go and play. It's giving you a great place to live. And hop downstairs, mess around, people. You could have parties in your room. Haven't tried that yet. That'll have to be a video at some point. But there's it's it's given a lot of immersion to the game, a lot of, of believability, a lot of playability, a lot of stuff just to mess around with. And we'll, I'll be covering a bunch of that somewhere along the line. There'll be there'll be more videos. I have I must have 20 hours of video, just ready to edit and voiceover and do things like this and give you opinions. But on that note, with 13 minutes left before I'm kicked for going idle, this is your Lemonade Man! Well, really, the 
Oh good, the, the pink eye is going away a little bit. This is your black knight. Let me let me let's let's do that. Let's let's go inventory. Do 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 do. Come on, where's style? Oh, there's styles under it. Let's go back to the dapper CEO. So bleeding a little bit. But on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your black knight. Have a great night.